In 86, new UK duo The Pet Shop Boys hit number one with that song. Neil Tennant and Chris Lowe followed their platinum debut album with another winner, actually, and two number one singles. They stand a good chance of a hat trick with a cover of the Willie Nelson and Elvis Presley classic Always On My Mind. Here's their story. We met in London a few years ago. I can't remember how many. Maybe five years ago. Oh, yeah, and um, I was working in an architect's office as part of the course, you, know, you, have to work, you have to work for 12 months in an architect's office. So I was working in Chelsea and I was living on Sydney Street, which is in Chelsea, just around the corner from where Neil lives. And um, we met one Saturday on the King's Road and um, started writing songs together, just you know, <laughs> like that. And, um, and then um, I went back to Liverpool and um, I used to come to London, we used to write songs together in this little recording studio in Camden Town, which is a friend of ours. And um, then Neil went over to... It's quite hard remembering it all in order. <laughs> anyway, and then uh, Neil went over to um, New York to interview the police at uh, Shea Stadium. And he only went there for a couple of days. And so whilst he was there, he went and met Bobby O, who was one of our favourite record producers, you know, sort of collected all his records and that. And, um, and Bobby O sort of just said, oh, let's make a record. I've cut a few bits out there, actually, anyway. Bobby O said, hey, let's make a record. And uh, although it wasn't much more complicated than that, really. And um, so then a few weeks later, um, we flew back to New York and uh, started recording with Bobby O at uh, Unique Studios, which is at Times Square, which is where Arthur Baker was making all his hip hop records and that, and Planet Rock were there, and Carlos Alomar walked in and that. It was very exciting. We made West End Girls the first time. And, um... Sorry, I'm chewing away. Very good muffins. <laughs> um, we made West End Girls, and it was released in 1984 in Britain, where it sank without trace. It wasn't a hit or anything. But in Belgium, it became a hit. And then in France, it was a minor hit. And then we started to get played in Canada and, uh, and in the West Coast of America. And... We were signed to this to Bobby Orlando's company, and at the end of 1984, we broke with him because he was in New York, we were in Los we were in London, and it was a kind of a geographical problem there. We couldn't really maintain this relationship, and then we signed to EMI Records. We had a thing like called Opportunities, which was another flop for us. Although again, we got a lot of play in Canada on it, and a lot of play in the West Coast of America, and then we re-recorded West End Girls because in Britain, no one had heard the song, and it went to number one in Britain. So it was a suddenly we had a hit.